is the Yulfun Armor X8, a budget rugged phone that costs me $120 and for that we get 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, a 5.7 inch display, IP68 water and drop resistant, the MediaTek Helio A25. So without further ado, let's open this up. And a 5080 milliamp hour battery and of course Android 10, a triple rear camera setup. So yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, so first impressions, wow, that back looks very slick, very nice. So first impressions, the phone does feel premium. It feels like a hard rubber back. Feels very strong, very durable. Not too thick in the hand, believe it or not. So the phone fits in my hand quite comfortably. It doesn't feel like as thick as the other rugged phones out there. In the box, we have a tempered glass screen protector. Instructions of phone charging, okay. Manuals, our charging brick, and our charging cable. And this time we get a USB type C. Okay, so first impressions, the display looks quite nice. Uh, view viewing angles are okay. So yeah, I'm gonna set this up and get back to you. All right, so let's do our fingerprint sensor. So the, it is, so the fingerprint sensor is very recessed into the phone body. So as you can see, you can see how recessed it is. And that is good news because you're going to be able to find it easily when you want to unlock your phone and, and there we go. All right, the phone is all set up. Um, okay, that skin does look kind of dated. And okay, now I see the display for what it really is. So it's kind of blue. It's got a blue tint to it. So, but the display, you know, for the price, it's perfectly acceptable. You know, I've seen worse displays for phones and even more expensive than this, so. First up, let's test the fingerprint sensor. Oh, that was actually pretty quick. Let's try this again. Nope, that failed. Ah, oh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Nope, three, two, one. Okay, it keeps failing now. Three, two, one. Wow, okay. One more, one more time. Okay, so this, so it's not the most reliable, but I think that's just because of, of the fact that I didn't set it up correctly. But I can tell, you know, if you set this up perfectly, then it's gonna unlock very fast every time. So I am impressed with the fingerprint sensor. Now let's see if we have a yeah, face unlock, there we go. All right, our face is in row. Let's see how it is. Wow, look at that, three to one. Wow, oh, that is very quick. Now close up. So face unlock, fingerprint unlock, it's very good. I like it a lot. All right, so before we get to the games, I just wanna show how fast this phone is and how fast it feels overall. So settings, bam, there we are. Play store. So I'm really impressed with the speed of this phone. Okay, it's kind of started there, but that's normal. The place relaxed with pretty much every phone. But for someone who wants to spend 120 bucks on a durable phone, I mean, just look at it. I could use this as a daily driver. Huh, Yulfun Armor 7E, I didn't know this existed. So yeah, the phone feels very quick. You know, I'm, ver I'm very happy with the speed. So now let's play some games. Okay, kind of la. Okay, it's stuttering. No worries, let's just disable ads. Still kind of stuttering. Okay, so when I spam knives, okay, it stutters. But it's not the worst stutter I've seen, so the stutter does make you lose. But yeah, I mean, but since it is stuttering, it's not that enjoyable. So we're gonna see how Windrider is. So far, no stutter, no lag. Just the frame rate is 
30, 35 frames a second. Okay, so Wind Rider runs fine. I mean, so I could play Wind Rider on this, no problem. I mean, so the speaker's over here in the back. Why won't it go away? Okay, so the speaker isn't too bad. I mean, it's a bit quiet, but at least there's no distortion and the quality is overall fine. But we do have a headphone jack over here. Just remove the flap. It's just a question how, what kind of headphones are gonna fit here. So yeah. Okay, so our camera mode doesn't look too bad. Rear camera is 13 megapixels. Front camera is 8 megapixels. Rear video is full HD. Front video is also full HD. Let's go outside. We're facing video on the Yulphone uh, Armor X8 and it looks okay. I'm walking around. On my end, the colors look kind of not so vibrant. Let's see how the autofocus is. Tabbing on the screen. It's not, not focusing. Okay, it's not going to focus on the flower even though I tapped the screen and yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Front facing video on the Yulfun Armor X8. Um, so, let me know what you think. I think it looked pretty good. What do you think? Um, now, I'm gonna walk and. Uh, yeah. So that is pretty much it. So should you get this phone? For $120, I think it's absolutely worth it. And I think now, even and even during Black Friday, I think you can get this phone for even cheaper. The camera is decent, the display is okay, speakers meh, but the performance is very decent for the price. And especially the fact that this thing is durable and we don't have an ugly design. This design looks pretty good in my opinion because it's very simplistic, you know. I like this phone, it's very cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace.